you did mention that, uh, but at the same time, while uh, the A4 priority group has already been allowed to be vaccinated, the thing is on the ground, it's still the A1 to A3 group that's being uh, vaccinated. Uh, what then does that say about the speed at which vaccines have been rolled out in the country so far? And the 7 million, does that in any way spark confidence or is it still this at least a, uh, a reflection of the speed by which the government is procuring vaccines? I'll be very frank with you. I mean, the, the uh, procurement and the uh, deployment of the vaccine is less than ideal. Okay? Uh, we're just barely hitting 1% to 1.5% of the population. And we're talking about uh, achieving herd immunity of about 65 to 70% within the year. So that's a very daunting task. Uh, if you look at the numbers, by hopefully by uh, early part of the third quarter, we have to really go on the, the mass inoculation. Okay? And that is when I say mass inoculation, you're talking about 220,000 to 250,000 a day, the number of people to be inoculated for us to achieve, hopefully by the end of the year, 60 to 70 percent. So that's a very challenging uh, uh, task uh, that the DO, DOH faced. Uh, and you mentioned about the arrival of the Pfizer. Uh, at this point in time, we would be willing, I mean, we should take any vaccine that is donated or that we can get our hands on. Uh, but the logistic of the Pfizer is very challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, the temperature requirement uh, below 70 degrees is, uh, is something that the government has to uh, plan ahead. I've heard that uh, the government has made arrangements with the logistic company to do, to do all of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. we in the private sector are more than willing to help the government through our various chambers. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday, we had a meeting with the uh, MMDA chairman, Ben-Hur uh, Abalos, uh, regarding how uh, the private sector can help uh, in, uh, in uh, accessing some of this uh, vaccine that uh, we know that are arriving. Uh, there's been the private sector has gone on board on the two private sector initiative, one by PA Joey Concepcion on the AstraZeneca mm -hmm. and the other one, Moderna, which was uh, uh, through the uh, IC, ICTSI. Uh, these are not yet scheduled to arrive, uh, mm -hmm. but we would think that uh, once it arrives, those who went on board should be able to log in and uh, get their shares. By the way, when I say get their shares, not that they can do the vaccination by themselves. Mm -hmm. They have go to accredited uh, centers uh, by uh, from DOH. Mm -hmm. So we're looking okay, forward to that. Good thing that you mentioned that as well. But first, before we get to that, I want to ask as well, realistically speak, uh, speaking, when do you see the A4 priority group getting vaccinated? Uh, honestly, I would think that it's going to be the latter part of the fourth quarter. Latter part of the fourth quarter. That's quite a way away. I say that will be October, November. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the, uh, the the bulk of the vaccines coming in uh, originally that were planned for August, September, and October, the 20 million dosages that are coming in per month, there seems to be a bit of delay. So if that moves back to September, then you're talking about the logistic needed. I would fairly, I mean, give a target of probably sometime in October, November. <laughs> 